right, so it is Sunday, October 9th. Um, I, we are wrapping up the tiny house project. I had hoped to be completely done with the tongue and groove inside by this weekend, but we haven't made it. Um, we've got a lot of funny cuts and intricate work that we've done, so it's not quite done yet, but I'll take you inside and show you where we're at. So here we go. So we're heading in and you can see like the last time you saw a video this wall wasn't done, which that wall is all done now. Um, so we've got we have the, that wall, wall, the ceiling completely done, the kitchen wall completely done. done. Um, the other big thing is to do the tummy group in the bathroom we needed to, well to do the tummy group in general we needed to get all the plumbing done. So Erin got all the plumbing done this week and when you get the plumbing done, guess what that means? That means you get a shower. And so the sh empty. shower is in the, the bathroom. Like literally the shower had everything plumbed in there. Um, so very cool, showers in the bathroom. Um, tomorrow I think I'm gonna have to take the day off work because we really need to get this done. Our goal date was to be have it done by Friday. I'm not sure if we're gonna make that or not, but we've got the tongue and groove in the bathroom on the inside and outside of the bathroom left. Um, there's 11 inches of space up in the loft area and I spent a great deal of the weekend up there. So that area is pretty well done. We have the back wall in the loft still to do a tongue and groove. So we'll have to shimmy up there some more, but um, that shouldn't be too bad. All the, the ceiling was kind of the tough part and that's all done in there. So. Tomorrow we should get all the tiny group on the walls done and then Erin can start doing um, the finishing electrical. So get the outlets in, um, the switches in, um, and the plumbing, you know, like the toilet and the sink and everything in. And then the cabinets um, will hopefully be done sometime soon. Oh, and we do still have to do the tongue and groove in, we call it the dog house, which is now the new location of the hot water heater also because um, we couldn't get the venting and everything to fit um, under the kitchen cabinet like it was supposed to. So that's now going to be in the dog house. So that's where we are. Um, so like I said, I wasn't going to take tomorrow off work Monday. Hopefully we'll make some Great progress, the kids will be at school, so that'll be exciting. So, and that's what I'm supposed to 